Hello, my name is Markus Berchtold from Rungul. I would like to show you how a resonant fatigue testing machine can be used for fatigue crack growth measurement. We have installed an aluminium specimen with a, with a clip and today the clip is attached in the knife. It has already a pre-crack. We want to start now the actual test. Now we start the, the software and in, a, in a mode that the delta K is decreasing over the uh, number of cycles, huh? over crack grows actually, huh? with this deloading coefficient huh? in this, according to this exponential formula here. The crack length is already 17.9 millimeter. Now we start the test. From you. And I've selected all the parameters that I want to record and start. The machine is now, once it found the resonant frequency, it makes a sweep. Now it found it and it's uploading the load here I see the correlation of the compliance of the measurement force versus crack opening now after a delay time it starts calculating the crack lengths select here the number of load cycles, the number of periods that shall be used for calculating the slope, here the red line, and also the limits within the slope is calculated. And based on the slope, the ECB is calculated, this is normalized with the Young's models and the width of the specimen. Based on that, the crack length is calculated according to the formula eh, that we have selected here, which is from the ASTM standard eh, in this time. And I can also here average once again eh, the, the number of slopes that I want to use to calculate now the, the ECB. So, the delta frequency tells me already that the crack is running and also the crack length measurement eh, tells me a similar story, eh, the same story. So it looks quite consistent. And yeah, delta K should now continuously be decreased. The fluctuation that we see are based on the, on the fluctuation of the crack calculation. All right. Now, this takes time. Maybe after the weekend, we will see how the threshold is approached. Okay, then see you on Monday.